This video is for all those out there that are like me that doesn't like to use Microsoft products. Can't afford Apple products, of course. I use PC Linux. I've used PC Linux for a long time. I like using this operating system, uh, but it has you know some limitations. And what I've been trying to do is I want to cast my screen you know, I have a USB Wi-Fi card plugged into this Lenovo des desktop here. I'm trying to cast it to my big TV. Got this nice 55 inch TV in it. You know, it receives cast from phone just fine. But as far as my Linux goes, I've been having troubles trying to get it on there. So I've been trying some solutions. And just before we get started, I want you guys to see I have a workshop slash man cave so it's pretty cluttered full of things in it a lot of pieces and parts but anyhow what I have done here is in most cases what you do is you push this this key here see if I can get my finger to show up on that windows key and the P will pop up a screen if you have a windows operating system that allows you to cast using Wi-Fi to your TV. Now, if I push those, it actually brings up a screen, allows me to uh, uh, unify screens and things of that sort, but I don't have the option to use Wi-Fi through Linux. So I thought, well, I can't use that. I haven't found anything through Synaptic or anything through uh, uh, PC Linux's uh, info pages to show me how to do this. I know how to install PC Linux, but I don't know how to get in there and program things with it. I'm, I'm not that good at that time. I'm not a programmer. So what I decided to do was, I look back here to see what I have. I've got a dual video card back here, but it's VGA. So I thought, well, I'll get a VGA cord. You have VGA to HDMI, right? Wrong. You can't do that. It won't work. If VGA doesn't go to HDMI. You can go HDMI to VGA, but you can't go VGA to HDMI. So you have to use an adapter like this, which it's a powered signal and you have a VGA in from your computer and you can go to an HDMI out cord and this converts the signal so that that works. And this, this works pretty good. Um, this was my first attempt and it does work. And you get, this is how you plug it in through USB into your computer using one of your ports um but i also wanted to be able to use my screen and use the tv like a secondary screen so i went and bought a vga female to male so i can plug into the computer and then plug into this port and then use the first vga output to go to my monitor which that does work fine. But as I was rooting around back here on your on my desktop, if you happen to have this, this is a DP port. And I picked up one of these 4K ultra high definition DP port plugs. And this allows me to just go direct into an HDMI cord, which is on the other end of this. You see back in there, that end goes straight into my HTI input. So now I don't have to mess around with all these extra cables. And uh, I can go into here. I'll pause this just for a second. I'm going to hit the uh, Windows key P. Okay, and it brings up this just like it does on your Windows operating system. You know, but like I say, the Windows operating system, you have the option to cast using Wi Fi here. I don't have that. Now you have all the different options you can do to hook up a secondary monitor here though, which I'm going to do. So we'll just pick one here. So I want to extend it. I don't want to actually do the same. I don't want to mirror it. You could do that, but I'm, I want to extend it so I can use my uh, monitor screen to do other things at the same time. So I'll click that. Now, in theory here, I should be able to just Go up to the HDMI port, which is port one, and select that, and it should find it. 
and there we go there's a pc linux screen so now i can take my mouse to come over here to do uh, separate things so now i can go to my streaming site and stream my football games and things of that sort without actually having to cast through wi-fi so this is an option for you to do now i want to go into amazon here and actually show you um get my mouse back over here what i bought seven dollars and 99 cents if you have a display port a dp port out on your either laptop or on your desktop computer then you can do what i'm doing here you just take one of these plugs you plug that display port end in to your desktop or your laptop this is where you hook an, an hdmi cable you got to have a long enough run to be able to go from your uh, desktop up to your uh, TV, but it just goes into one of your ports on the back of your TV. And then, like I say, you just pull up the Windows key, P, same time. And it drops up, brings up that uh, display that allows you to extend your monitor, extend your screen, or mirror it, whichever you prefer to do, up to your TV. So this is a solution if you can't do the Wi-Fi casting. This works probably better because you're not going to lose any Wi-Fi signal. It's going to have a direct signal to your TV. Um, that's how I'm doing it. That's a way to do it if you're using a Linux operating system. Thanks, guys.